It's the leg it's legitimately that bridge. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, that's. Oh, oh bollocks. I I look like a right tit now, don't I? Oh fuck me. That's hilarious. Oh, that's that's giving me a good giggle. I'm gonna I'm gonna um I'm gonna take the L on that one and go back to uh just driving and keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> How do we have this exact fucking bridge? So much of the UK looks nothing like the UK, but this looks so fucking perfect. What the fuck, SES? You did me dirty, SES. You did me dirty. Fair enough. Oh, that's, that's, that's hilarious. I don't know why that's so funny, but it fucking is. That's great. 10 out of 10, SES, you win. You beat me. You made a bridge. Perfect. Keep left. Well, let's uh, let's get off the uh, um, motorway here and go down to. Uh... Ooh, fucking hell! Oh, yeah, thing right there. Right. I knew that was the fucking Humber, though. Yeah, my remembering of the UK rivers is getting better, boys. Actually, give me two seconds. Oh, fuck, that was... Ah, uh... oh, fuck me, that was funny. That was... I don't know why that's so funny, it just is. There we go. But, um, yeah, that's... Uh... Oh, my fucking... That's my... That's, that's my goddamn luck, that is. Oh, all right, let's get going. Oh, that's why that's... One second, guys. Fuck me. Oh, shit. Don't fucking crash me. There we go. 50 miles an hour on a side road? We can do that. Oh, fucking hell, guys. That's still still making me giggle. I don't know why that's making me giggle, but that's making me fucking giggle, and I'm I that's hilarious. Oh. And oh my god, Britain, can you fucking not rain for ten minutes? <coughs> I feel like I've had more fucking rainfall in this game than we've uh, in in this last like two sessions than we've had the entire time we've been fucking playing this game. Like holy shit. What's our profit for the last seven days? Still only, f still can't break like 650 fat grand a week. I mean, we will, but just it's taking its sweet time. How long till our break? I've got loads of time, but. I'm still just amused at the fact that the one thing that I don't think I recognize in the fucking game is the one thing that's like actually pretty much spot on. Like that bridge over the River Humber is pretty much perfect. Like the actual like from the actual like um, structure, like the actual bridge, you know, the uh, the support beams and um, the uh, the big pier. I don't actually know what they're called, pirates. The big like tower, like you know, like the big structured, with all the wire on it, and the, you know, so all of that, even the way the wire is, it's all fucking right. And there's just me like, ah, that's so wrong. That's not how it looks. Apart from the fact that's literally how it is, like that's quite literally how it is. It's that's great. All right, S C S, you have, uh, you have, I will, uh, I will take the L. I will. Uh, Put that in my pocket and I will cherish the L, taking accepting the fact that the UK is a little bit better than I expected. Still salty, I got it wrong, but you know, you know, we, we you know, we can't win it, can't fucking win it all, right? Oh, fucking hell, that's great. 
That's legitimately made. That's actually legitimately made made my mood so much better than it was. Jesus fucking Go Christ! Straight. Holy shit! That that just shows how shit the fucking uh, break distance in the rain is right there. And I nearly took that poor bastard out. And I wasn't even speeding. And nor were like, and he didn't even brake check me. Just so hard to fucking break. Get into the um, outside lane. Or inside lane. I don't know what I fucking meant. Uh, well, let's uh, try and uh, blitz it to our rest point, which I don't actually know how far away it is, but. Wait, what can we talk about? Um, we can go back to talking about uh, my old YouTube inspirations. You know what? Yeah, we'll go back to those. So, some of the inspirations I definitely had are definitely still very apparent today. That's one thing, like, you know. No, that's just, that's, you know, we're not going to go through that topic. That's a weird fucking topic to bring up out of the blue. I, I know we squeaked about it earlier, but it's just it's so out of the blue now. I still need to watch the new D&D movie that came out, because I'm, see I'm, I'm hearing a lot of praise for it. And I really want to, you know, see it myself, but... At the moment... As much as I want to see it, my brain's like, well, you, you could go see it, Joe. But then you're spending like 15 quid on a ticket to go on your own. So I mean, well, I've got friends I could go with. But like, you're still spending 15 quid for a ticket and a big drink. And then probably more for popcorn. And it's like, you could be spending that money on, you know, you could be putting that money towards an adoption of cat. Or t in this case, the adoption of two cats. And my brain's just like, yeah, Joe, uh, you know what? Your logic there is pretty fucking sound. Screw going to see the D&D movie you actually want to see. And, you know, put the, put the effort into uh, adopting cats or two kittens because, you know, adopting two beautiful kittens is way more important. Because after all, the D&D movie is only, for, uh, is, is only for a couple of hours. Kittens are for life. Kittens are definitely way worth more weight. Like, if you look at the value of, like, a movie ticket, to, in my opinion, to, like, uh, the cost of adopting a cat, while the cat does have additional fees, which makes it sound like such a transaction, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, while a kitten isn't just, like, a one-time payment, I feel like kittens are just so much better for the money. Which is why I'm going to be getting them, obviously. At some point, anyway. Gotta save up the money first. Which I just hope that they're still there. Like, I, you know what? That sounds really bad when you say, I hope that kitten I want to adopt is still there. It's like, I, it's like it makes it sound like I want those kittens to stay in the, like, in the foster home until I can get them. It's like, no, it's not that. It's like, I want those kittens to stay there so I can adopt them, but I don't want them to not get adopted. If they get adopted, like, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, well, you know what? I had, like, this instant attachment to you cause, and you were, like, the most cutest kittens ever, but I'm just glad they've got a good home, you know? And as long as that home is as good as I think I could have given them, it's that's all that matters. It's definitely a weird feeling to like think of like, because I've never, for all the years I've always wanted pets, but I've never been in a situation where I could probably get one. And I'm finally in a situation where I could get definitely like actually have how you have one and be good with it. And it's I've never thought to myself like it sounds so weird saying out loud that I hope that someone else doesn't adopt them so I can adopt them. I like, just it's such a weird thing to say. It's like yeah, don't adopt them. I want to adopt that. It's, it's just such a fucking weird say, thing to say. Uh, hopefully when we rest this rain will fuck off. I'm actually getting sick of driving in the rain, but I don't want to change the rain slider because I changed it to this on purpose to make it so the rain peered, you know, somewhat often. I just didn't think it would be appeared this much. I didn't think it would make the UK seem so much like the UK, all right? Like, it's rained so much in the fucking UK that I feel like I'm actually, like, outside. 
Like, I have a feeling if I walked off and looked outside, it'd be probably pissing it down. Actually, is it pissing it down? That's the question. Is it pissing it down before I made that comment? Okay, one second. I'm going to pause so I don't actually crash. Oh, yeah, unlock my phone. That's now halfway across my desk so it can fucking charge. Okay, it's not pissing it down at current. Oh, for fuck's sake. One second, guys. Just got to quickly deal with my D&D &D group, which uh, comes way in first, unfortunately, for you lot. Oh, shit. I want to I wanna tag him. Yeah. While I wait for a message back on that, let's continue driving. Yeah, I do apologize. I'm going to have to deal with that at the same time as their uh, play. It's uh, unfortunately very important that I get it dealt with. Is this the one we're resting at? No, we're resting at the one after this. Okay, cool. An hour and 12. So yeah, we can pretty much just get to the one after this and that'll be a perfect resting point. We'll check our money and our guys after that. Yeah, as soon as I get to this rest point, I'll go back and check my messages and uh, we'll do a bunch of admin before we continue with our drive to work to Glasgow. And it is Glasgow we're going to, isn't it? No, it's Aberdeen. Yeah, we're not saying we're not going. Let's say Glasgow's not the northern one. Glasgow's near Edinburgh, Joe. Come on, you know this. You've conquered them enough times in video games. And played them enough times in um you played there the Scottish enough times in uh, Medieval 2. I think that was one of the first nations I beat in Medieval 2 was Scotland, so I could play as them. I was like, yeah, bitch like these guys, now I can play as them. Fuck yeah. They were a lot of fun in Medieval 2. Getting the Gallo Glay and whatnot. And, you know, the uh, Highlanders and whatnot. And Highlander peasants. Highlander peasants were just so metal. Running in with a fucking kill like a badass. Go straight. Well, I think about it. How much do we? So, if we get, if we got paid off our loans, how much money would we be able to borrow, and how much could we like buy with that? So, if we say we upgraded two places, that's 160. We then need 250 for each. So, we need, okay, we'd need like 660 grand to upgrade all of it. Yeah, still a bit too expensive for just simply getting, um, paying off this last loan. We'd still not be able to really afford it. Definitely something to think about, though. Go straight. But I think filling up one and then filling up a second one would be the smart choice. But we'll see. I mean, we're about to get another 37 grand, which goes to our 88 grand, so... We're getting close to paying off this next loan. I'm aware I'm getting tired, don't you worry, game. That means, yeah, we've got 43 fucking minutes. Calm down. Oh, yeah, this is the one on the other side of the fucking road. Uh, how far away? Okay, so how far away is this one? I'm just interested now. Okay, that's, yeah, that's too far. Pedal if that was like an hour away, I'd be like, well, maybe we can get that one. Oh, no, we're going to have to go here. Ah, it's resting on this side as well. Okay, that's... Are we above 100 grand? Oh, fuck yes. 109,000. That's what I like to see. Let's uh, get our check our drivers. So, fragile cargo. Yep. Fragile, high value, high value, long distance, ADR, just in time. No longer just in time for you. Get that eco going. Eco, 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 high value. Nope. Fragile for you now, buddy. Same with you. You two getting on with your work. You're on high value. You're on uh, high value as well. And you're on long distance. 
absolute legends. And now I'm just going to quickly message my group back. Right, two more seconds and I'll be done with that. I'm just waiting for another reply. Um, let's have a look at the truck manager. I want to check all the mileage. We're very, we are slowly picking up with these guys, but they are doing a decent amount of miles themselves. Harold, the original DAF is about to be overtaken by. Um, like you can tell that was my DAF because it's had it's got it's custom and it also has the fucking uh, the runner wheels. It also has the uh, deeper fuel as well. Profit per mile, though. Yeah. He's actually second still. Holy shit, Harold. You're doing absolutely amazing. I mean, you're still not doing... You're not doing 32 grand a day profit, but, you, you know, you're doing something. So, at the moment... Well, how much money could we feasibly conjure? So, we could get, you know, about 240 grand. So, that's still not enough at all to do what we want to do. Two more seconds, guys, and we'll be I'll be ready. Right. Fuck is this? I don't actually recognize this song, but fuck it, whatever. Let's have a quick drink and then we'll get back to uh, driving up to Aberdeen. <laughs> Fucking do this, guys. Yeah, we don't need fuel just yet. We'll not worry about getting it. What are the jobs looking like in Aberdeen? Because we're probably going to be there soon, so it'll be uh, worth knowing. Uh, a job down to Cambridge. That's a fucking good one as well. I like how all these jobs are just keeping me in the fucking UK. We're probably not going to be there within five hours. Oh, no, no, no. We, could, we might be able to get that job, actually. I might actually think about that job. Because if we're able to get that job, that's going to be... Uh, it's going to be driving pretty much the same roads down to Cambridge, but... Pure profit. And I like profit. It also, you know, doesn't take us too far away. One second, guys. Right, get to fucking uh, Aberdeen. To think Aberdeen, we, we went to Aberdeen not long ago. At least the fucking rain's pissed off as well. I wonder how long for though. I don't think very long. I don't know why, but I have this distinct feeling it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, 
some good music. I must admit, I wish I could put the music I was playing on through the stream. Because holy shit, this is some good fucking music. Got some sleep token right now. Here we are, we're in Scotland. I would shout freedom, but it's, um, it's only 20 past 9. I probably could shout freedom, but my neighbors wouldn't be too pissed off at me. But if I'm gonna allow, if I'm a, if I'm allowed a cat, they're probably gonna be pissed off at me for having a cat anyway. So let's just uh, let's not give my neighbors reasons to be pissed off at me. Not that I actually give a fucking rat's ass if they get pissed off at me. To be fair, like thing is, like this is one thing I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna just say, but like, if anybody has neighbors who are like really fucking loud, like I live in a flat, like a house that was converted into two flats or two apartments. One of you are American or anything. Or if you just call apartments, if you call them apartments instead of flats, whatever. Um, so I was, I'm obviously living in uh, the downstairs and I've got somebody who lives upstairs. So they are the loudest motherfuckers ever. They are, they put, they put loud music on that I hate. But, they, but like, I never complain. They, they're always really stomp it. And that's fine. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, I can't hear them in my office nine times out of ten. So it doesn't really matter. But like, and I will also clarify, they have never complained about me being loud either. I will clarify this. They have never complained about me being loud. This is a hypothetical. I'm just going to say that now because my neighbors upstairs, as annoying as they are for me sometimes, they are not, like, they are not, um, by any means, they, by any means have they complained about my, like, sound or anything. Um, but, like, um, like, I, I, it's one of those things where it's, like, I know for, like, I feel like as soon as, um, like, anything changes, like, that's when people, like, complain. Because um, I feel like if I was to get well, well, when I get a kid, is I have a feeling like I'm just gonna get like maybe like the first time I have my neighbors complain about me, which they can't. Because if I'm I'm already I'm already asked for written permission from the uh, landlord to be able to have a cat. So, well, in this instance, am I allowed pets? I don't think he needs to know that I'm having. I want two kittens. That's that's a him problem. And by that I mean, if I'm allowed pets, then the nature of said pets isn't doesn't matter. Which is something um, I don't know if a lot of people know. Or like in the, I think like especially in like, I feel like it's one of those things where I don't think you have to declare what type of pet you're getting. If you live in a rented property, you just need to declare that you've got you're getting a pet, and you know you need to get permission from them. I feel like it's probably different in every country, but I don't think in the UK you need to declare what pet you're getting. You just need to. Um, essentially declare whether or not it'll cause any potential damage and stuff like that and if there is if there's any like potential problems like hazards of it living there i i'm all new to this so it's gonna be interesting but yeah i just i know i just i've just got this inkling feeling as soon as i get a cat my neighbors are gonna be really annoyed with me i don't know why because i don't want an outdoor cat i want an indoor cat because outdoor cats i don't trust them around here i i just do not trust uh where i live so safer to get an indoor one but anyway let's not talk about kitties because it's making me want it's making me really really want my those kitties and uh yeah don't need that we need to think about something else we need to think about something else uh war what's it good for apart from you know stimulating the economy and loads of other things oh stimulating certain sectors of the economy probably a better way to phrase Like, if you play games like European Versailles 4 and... Probably not EU4. EU4 is probably a bad example, because war definitely does not make Go you more straight. profitable, because you end up, use, you know, paying for your troops. Uh, games like Total War and stuff like that, where war is way more profitable. Because, you know, if you go to war, you, you know, you're, you're pillaging, you're, um, just, you're plundering, you know. You're doing, you know, you're getting that money, you know? But realistically, like, in games like where, you know, in real, like, real economies, certain sectors thrive in war like the arms are con the arms are the uh like the um arms sector and like weapon sector obviously thrives much more when there's um like either a country with an open policy to gun carrying such as us depending on the state obviously or if there's like armed conflicts going on they can obviously sell like military contracts and whatnot and like even the Go food straight. sector i believe thrives more in war because obviously they're supplying you know the, the you know they're supplying the army and stuff like that but I don't know where the phrase war, what is it good for, comes from. I'm pretty sure it's like a video game or a TV show, but... Or is it, or is it Fallout? No, that's war. War never changes as Fallout, isn't it? One second. Uh, 
Apparently, it's a song. By Edwin Starr. Huh. One second, guys. All right, back to driving to Aberdeen. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just uh, messaging my my friends are a health move or something, so I'm just uh, been messaging them. So I do apologize. All right, back to the road we took from uh, Hull, or is that the Edinburgh? No, this is the small gap between Edinburgh we hadn't took. That's the one. Now the same exact roads again, all the way up to uh, Aberdeen. Keep left, and then continue straight. Go straight. On the last straight, well, not straight, but you know, we're on the last light little bit now, and we'll be in Aberdeen, and we can pick up the job down to Cambridge if it's still there. Got three hours and five minutes. I'm assuming the Cambridge job will still be there by the time we get there, but you never know. Go straight. I always find it amusing that our signs Edinburgh it says Edinburgh, Edinburgh's now three miles away, and it's right behind where we're going. So it's like not even in the direction we're going, but Aberdeen isn't on there, which is where we're going. Like this road leads to Aberdeen, pretty much Aberdeen alone in terms of like cities. And it's like, yep, Edinburgh's 93 miles. Like, well, you know, 93 miles if we go like the back of the way we fucking came, maybe. But no, I don't know. I think it's 93 miles this way. I think I said that last time as well. It's like, it's very weird that for some reason SCS has put Edinburgh on like the road just past Edinburgh. It's, it's a really weird one. So what the fuck are they? Like, there's big like things up there. Like we don't stack hay like that in the UK. We like we have like hay bales. That's it. I don't know what the fuck they are. Again, I think that's like an asset like you reused over all over um, Europe to make it easier. Also, I'm not even gonna question whether or not this bridge exists because last time I did that in the UK, the, the bridge existed and I felt like a tit. And I already feel like a tit, so let's not make me feel like more of a tit. I'm pretty actually I'm pretty sure that one does exist over there. I'm pretty sure I recognize that one Now I have never been to Scotland and oh, yeah, this is the Scottish bridge That's bumpy as all fucking sin and feels like they need to like, you know Really get some uh, actually I'm not gonna make that joke actually because no in my luck I'll have a bunch of people who are really offended by it. So let's let's not make that joke For the sake of my career we're leaving that joke alone Make sure we don't flip this bastard over. Perfect. Keep left and then exit left. Exit left.
turn right. Make sure there's no dickhead coming. There we go. Absolutely fucking perfect. Wow. Like Uh, we can't technically overtake you. Then again, I see that as a guideline, not a law. But, well, we shouldn't overtake you, but I'm definitely going to because you're fucking slow and I want to be ahead of you. Nothing popped up, therefore, not in trouble. That's the way I look at it. We're now into the Scottish Highlands. Look at that little church over there. That's a very British church. I don't know if they have them in Scotland like that, but that is definitely a very British-looking church. Like, I'm pretty sure I've been in a few churches that look dead ringer for that one right there. Like, um, I think one of the local churches in the U in uh, where I live looks like that. Like, that looks like a... Like, I know it sounds weird, but it looks like the British... All British churches do look a bit different, but, like, because we have Protestant churches, not Catholic churches, because our churches were changed to the uh, Church of England... Uh, during uh, the reign of Henry Tudor the Eighth. Oh, not Henry Tudor. Henry Tudor is the seventh, but we call Henry the Eighth. Henry the Eighth is the tu uh, Tudor as well, but we call him Henry the Eighth, not Henry Tudor. Henry Tudor is the seventh. 